and what it was that originally inspired you to explore this period of history? Um, a lifelong interest in the home front um, uh, from a book I read when I was 11 called um, How We Lived Then. Um, experience of being behind the scenes in television about the extraordinary rivalries and the egos that went on and a wish to combine the two to talk about that essentially trivial business of film and filmmaking set in an era when the world was deeply serious about trying to make entertainment in a serious time. Uh, Catherine is a very young uh, woman who is talented but is very um, is not aware of her talent really and she in an era when uh, in virtually every job men were, men were constantly called up and going off to war women suddenly found themselves doing things that they would never have done before and C Catherine's promotion in it from uh, secretary in an advertising agency to copywriter to film writer what would not have been wildly abnormal this happened during the war there was sensational promotions and extraordinary um, changes in people's lives and Catherine represents somebody a young woman who who realizes she can do far more than she thought I mean things have changed a great deal even from when I started in the media and radio but but nevertheless it is still a, a minority sport for women to, to, to write um, to, to, be, to be screenwriters, to write comedy. But things have changed a great deal, but I hope this reminds us, reminds us of our roots. How did the actual experience of making a film well, compare to, to that stereotype? All those, all those vicious rivalries, you know, it was just the same. No, it wasn't. It was the lovely, it was lovely. And although it took a long time, my God, it took a long time. I mean, I compressed that in, in the book. Um, and the, the film takes about a year from start to finish. This took, I don't know, I think it was six years ago it was option, maybe seven. It took a long time, but then films do. Um, and it was relatively smooth in the end, and the people were lovely, and the acting was good, and the writing was terrific, so I, I, couldn't, I couldn't be more happy about it. We, we talked a lot, and I'm very fond of Gabby. I mean, I, I uh, dedicated my next book to her, so I think she's fantastic. We did talk, um, but what I really felt is that she really, she not only read the book and knew it better than I did by the end, but she researched the era thoroughly, and she, she turned what was basically um, a, a, a long sweep of narrative into, into a drama, something that I could never have done. She, she, she made it filmic and, and, and did it quite brilliantly, I think. Um, because it's a big book with a lot of plot and like all, all novels it had to be narrowed down for a film and she did it absolutely beautifully and with great skill. And also when she wrote jokes they were, I think they were as funny as my jokes so I'm really pleased about that.